Hey, I'm here with Ryan Roth, and we are at the team launch for Spider Tech 2012. Uh, how's it going, Ryan? It's good. Very good. good. Yeah. Awesome. Well, you finished off your 2011 season really well with a win at uh, Univest and a Wicked Time Trial in the uh, Colorado Pro Tour. So, did you see those as the highlights of the year? Uh, yeah, I mean, they're both really uh, great races and, you know, good results. And uh, I also, I just, yeah, I just felt started to feel good in the Colorado race and, and I kind of held on to that for the rest of the year. So, uh, yeah. also though the, the races in Montreal and Quebec were, were the first time I've done a race that hard. So, That's right. Yeah, it was a good experience also. So do you look forward to doing more races of that level? Yeah, for sure, especially yeah. especially those ones, you know, like they're, uh, they're really well organized, they're great races, you know, we have we have a good team that can do well at them, so yeah, I'm excited for that stuff again. That's good. Did you did you like the terrain in that in those races, Montreal, Quebec? Yeah, yeah, I think those yeah. are two courses that that will suit me and, and, uh, and yeah, I got some other guys in the team, so we can definitely do, you know, I think we can, we can do better than we did this year, that's for sure. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Well, it looks like you have a pretty stacked team of talent coming up for 2012, um, yourself included. So with, with that much talent, where do you see your role in the team in particular? Um, I think it would depend race to race and, you know, who's riding well and who's, you know, maybe not quite at the top of their form yet. Yeah. But uh, certainly there's some good races in the spring in Europe that, that I'll look forward to some Monday races and stuff. And then yeah. The other races, you know, I'll be there to ride for, you know, maybe some of our sprinters or support our climbers or, you know, like I kind of, I feel like I fit in in a lot of ways. So, yeah. 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 That's awesome. Now, you've had some other close calls at uh, Univest. Did you kind of always have in the back of your mind that I'm going to win this race? I knew I could win it. Yeah. And I actually thought I was, I was really close actually the last year too. So, yeah. yeah, there's been a number of kind of close calls, but, um, yeah, I, I knew I would could win. I mean, as long as I kept racing, and I would. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I wish we could all just say that. If I keep racing, I'll win that someday. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. great. Good confidence. We can, you know, win some new races too, some bigger races and stuff in Europe. Yeah. Absolutely. So, looking forward to 2012. Do you have a main goal in mind? Uh, I think. I, I don't know if I'll say one specific race. I mean, because there'll, there'll be so many. I think there's a lot of good ones, and uh, it's always. A little bit hard to say when you'll be, you know, really riding well, but yep. um, I definitely, yeah, I definitely like, you know, well, there's always like Tour de Bois, Philly, and National, yeah. and California. Those are always highlights. Those are always ones yep. that you want to be riding well for. Absolutely. Yeah. Now you're uh, well matched up with Spider Tech, considering the <laughs> knee struggles you've had in the past two years. Um, how's that coming along, and has it been instrumental to helping your recovery? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've had a couple of different problems the last two years, and uh, I've used, you know, I've definitely used the tape to help the recovery to, with aiding and prevention of further injury, and just to man, help manage, you know, pain from, from you know, if it's, if it's more recent. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it, it, you can use it at, at all the stages, you know? So, yeah, uh, yeah that's great. I, I use it a lot. I have it on, you know, right now. Oh, really? Like, okay. Yeah. 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 And, uh... Yeah, I mean it's very, very versatile, right? And so no matter what you kind of got going, there's probably something you know you can do with it. Excellent. And, uh, yeah, and I've also worked with some of the therapists that the Spider Tech and the team and stuff, and mm -hmm. that's helped me tremendously also. So. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So I've known you since I started racing, and I've noticed you've really leaned out. So uh, I'm going to ask you to share a little tip of advice over your years as a cyclist. Uh -huh. Is there any Thing in particular you can think back to, or there was a changing moment in your nutrition? Because I know that everyone's like, "How can I get leaner?" Yeah. I, is it just a slow maybe, process? It could, it's a bit of a slow process, but also just be more consistent, pay more attention, you know, at, at all at all times. Yeah. And uh, eating good, healthy, whole foods, you know, and like, yeah. Like, Make it yourself. It might take a bit longer, but you know you do the work yourself and you have a good meal and uh, and just and just volume work and training too, right? Like doing six, seven, eight day stage races and yeah, you know, more and more hours and more and more volume of work in your training. You know, Absolutely. Hurt either. So, okay, so non cycling kind of question. Sure. Tell the world what Ryan Roth wants to eat as a no consequence cheat meal after a big stage race. Big race. Uh, just, just burger.
burger and fries. Yeah? Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Well, thanks for your time, and good luck in 2012.